It hasn't even been a whole day since Anime Sword Simulator last updated and they just added a bunch of cool new stuff such as a whole new world to check out. Apart from that we also have some codes, new ranks, skins, a secret location which I'm going to show you. So yeah, let's not waste any more time and jump right into this update. So as you can see, I already bought the portal in preparation for this update, so let's just teleport. And here we are in the Demon Slayer village. We got the egg over here, we got the NPCs, 30 quintillion health, that's actually quite a lot for the easy one at least. Now heading over to the boss, which is obviously going to be Muzan, he has 790 quintillion health. That is no joke, just to get 4.36 quadrillion power, that took me like 24 hours. Hopefully the weapons that are going to be dropped by these NPCs are going to be helpful or else we're going to have a bit of a problem killing that boss. But anyways, let's head over to the egg. We have Inosuke, Nezuko, Zenitsu, Tanjo, you know, all the cool guys from Demon Slayer. And to hatch one is going to cost 5 quadrillion. I am a bit short and it kind of took a long time to get these gems. So hopefully these guys over here, the Onis, are going to be dropping a ton. I also got this artifact over here, which is giving me a 5 times gem boost. But they added a new one this update, which is going to give us 7 times gem boost. But we're going to have to kill Muzan 25,000 times. That's quite a lot. But thanks to the skin I'm wearing, which I got from World 3's secret location, you know, using these gems over here, it made getting those kills really easy. But before we get into the grinding part of this game, I'm going to show you the secret egg location for this world's skins. So all you're going to want to do is obviously you're going to spawn right there when you enter this world. Then you just want to come over here and then you want to look in this direction. Then jump up here, you will see this like mini island that is away from the other part of the island. Then you just want to jump over and head to this corner part of the island. And then once you get here, you will unlock the Slayer Village Egg. Now this one is going to be quite expensive. It is 1k each. That is double over the previous World Secret Egg. But probably as you saw before, I have quite a lot of gems saved up. So let's just open up a few and see what I get. All right, the first one, we got the Legendary. Let's go. 29%. Hopefully she will give us some good stats. But let's see if we can get the 1%. And there we go, we are out of gems, so we can't buy any more. Now, just in case some of you are confused on how to equip your skins, all you want to do is go to the PC, and then you're going to see this NPC right here. Or maybe it's a statue, I don't know. But anyways, you walk up here, you press E, and then there you go. There's going to be your skins. So before, I was wearing this 16 times X kill multiplier, and now the Nezuko is going to give me a 35 times multiplier. That's pretty cool, that's definitely going to be helping with getting this artifact over here. But anyways, enough of that, let's head back to the Slayer Village. Now, the Onis. As I said before, they have 30 quintillion HP. Let's just start the auto clickers and see how much damage we do. This might take a while, so I'm just going to quickly go AFK for a bit and then come back and see what we get. And there we go, we just killed one. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got a 190,000 sword, which is the Jiro sword. To be honest, I was expecting it to be much better than this one that I have right now, the Divine Biandal. But if we come over here to the index and we take a look, most likely... No, I thought it was the most common one, but it isn't. It's the 40%. I guess I just overestimated its power. But what we did get that was really good was... I don't know, like 9 quadrillion gems or something. Because now we have 14 quadrillion, which is enough to hatch 2 eggs. So yeah, let's see what we get. Let's open up the first one. We got a Benetsu rare, 10.95%. That is very good. Now if we open up another one, we got the common. Unfortunate, but it's okay. Let's just go check out the stats and equip best. Wait, the common is only 150? That's like nothing. Like what? I was expecting it to be like 1000 or something like that, but no, even the rare, it's only barely better than the epic. Oh, this is going to make grinding in this world so difficult. Wait, hold on, I might have an idea. They should be somewhere here. Yes, here they are. We actually have some codes which we can check out. Let's quickly see where we have to use them. I think probably over here. No, maybe in the shop. Yeah, right here, the code section. Let's try out the first one, which is going to be Wolf Sub. 
And that gave us a potion. Uh, how do I check what potion that is? Let me go over here. I think that... Oh, that's a lucky potion. Okay. Wish I had known that before I wasted all my gems, but it's fine. But we also have some other codes. We have this one over here. Let me just copy and paste that. We have Bolo Sub. Let's equip that. We have a damage boost. I'm not sure how much though, so we're going to have to check that out. We also have another one here. Let's quickly paste that in 2k likes remember the k is small let's equip that and we got another boost what's this a gems potion and an energy potion all right that's pretty insane we practically have every single potion at 10 minutes actually never mind the what's this again the damage ones at an extra 10 minutes and so is the lucky potion but anyways the final code for this update is going to be Fazoka sub which is going to give us an extra again i keep on forgetting the colors a gems potion because an extra 10 minutes that is really good now let's see the difference so if we walk back to let's say this npc over here you know we switch on the auto clickers now what's the difference okay so we are practically doing double damage or yeah actually we are doing double damage so that's pretty good. That means the damage potion is always going to give you a 2x boost. And I'll assume that every single other boost is going to be times 2 as well. So you know, times 2 gems, times 2 energy, times 2 everything really. But anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit here for uh, who knows how long, probably an hour since, you know, they have so much HP and it's taking so long to increase my energy. Hopefully we get something good. If we don't, it's going to be a bit annoying since, you know, it's really taking a really long time to kill these enemies. And if we don't get anything good, we have to wait even longer. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right. And we are back after three hours of grinding. And this is what I was able to get. Yes, that's right. Only five of the common swords. Now, you might think that I'm over-exaggerating by how long it takes to kill one of them once, but I am not joking. Whatever, the important part is that we got five swords, so at least we can make a shiny and it should be a bit faster. So let's make it. There we go. We have the shiny. How good is it? 570,000, which is practically double the multiplier. Yeah, it does seem so. We also got some nice gems, so we definitely can try our luck and see if maybe we can get some more Zenitsus. However, it is getting a bit late where I am, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to AFK overnight, see if I can get anything good, and then once I wake up in the morning, I'll get back here and show you guys what's happened. I physically cannot explain how dumb and stupid this whole update has been. Let's just say, I haven't been grinding for a day. I've been grinding for two days. And this is all I've gotten. You want to know why it's so low? It's because for some reason, every like 40, 50 or an hour, I disconnect. I don't know why, I just disconnect. And if that doesn't happen, my FPS, for some reason, just drops to zero. So it's like I'm doing one swing every like minute. So up till now, there's literally nothing I can do regarding this update. But they did say that they're going to be nerfing this a little bit, which I'm so glad because this world is just too hard, I think. So yeah, hopefully they do this nerf really soon because it's starting to get really annoying to grind. But yeah, I think this is where I'm going to be leaving this video. I'm sorry if you kind of got disappointed, like you're expecting like a huge where I'm fighting the boss and whatnot. But no, unfortunately, I'm not going to stop grinding this game. I'm still going to continue grinding it. But until they do all these fixes, there's nothing I can do. So yeah, I hope you guys can understand and I'll see you guys in the next one.